Hello folks, this is Ted White and today I'm going to show you how to create animated text shifting in CapCut PC like you see here. Let's check it out. Alright folks, so for today's tutorial we're not going to have to import a video so we're gonna, just going to go right up to text here. So you highlight text on the upper left then you go to default text and click on the blue here and add the track to the timeline. From there, we're going to go to our upper right here under text, basic, there's default text uh, and you're going to, you want to put whatever text you want to use for this tutorial. I'm going to put um, text shifting animation and then from there you can change the font so underneath this you just go to font I'm going to use resolve it's a nice bold font I'm going to change the location of this just move it a little bit to the right and I'll just make it a little smaller another thing we can do here is increase the line spacing so there we have the line spacing increase and then I just want to make sure these all start at the same location like um, shifting should be over here right underneath the start of animation and text as well I want them to all start to the left here so I just go beside alignment and then go left okay and now they're all starting at the same point okay from there our next step is we're gonna go back down to the timeline we're gonna make sure that this text box is highlighted and then we're going to right click and then we're going to go up to copy and click on that and then we're going to right click right above the text box and then select paste and then what we're going to do is we're going to make both of these about six seconds long so six seconds I can see right here and I can also see right here okay so here we go we'll make them both six seconds okay i'll make sure that the top text box is highlighted and then i'll drag it over here and then what i will do is backspace and just put i'm going to put create if i could ever spell so I'm going to put create and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and line it up so that it's the same it kind of lined up with the first row here uh, with text so create and text they're side by side so then the next step is so we're going to go down here and we are going to move it ahead a second so you just all you have to do is look at this as your as you select the playhead and then once it hits one second which is right here you stop and then what we're going to do is go down to position and you want to make sure the lower one is highlighted for this okay I'm not sure if I said that but you want to make sure the lower text box is highlighted for this and then we're gonna hit a keyframe so we have a keyframe at one second and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to 105 so you can either drag the playhead over there okay or on your keyboard from one second you can type the right so there's right left up and down arrows so you can just go move it ahead five frames so uh, by typing the right or by hitting the right arrow button five times one two three four five okay and that's at 105 there we're going to move so the next thing we want to pay attention to is just the X axis we have a position of 800 okay so we want that for all three we want to make sure that the text the start of this the first letter of all three of these is in the same position uh, it's not too it's not further over here or it's not further over here we want to make sure it's just right here so we're going to copy that and if you have notepad it might be a good idea to just bring it up 
and paste it in just so that you don't forget it. Um, so the reason why you do that is because you bring this up and it you try to match it 100% vertically by the eye so the best that you can and then that looks pretty good to me but at 770 it always changes right it's almost impossible to get it perfect so then you just type in 800 enter okay and it's the same starting point as the letter as the word above text okay and then what you do from here it's 105 we'll move it another second to 205 so move the playhead to 205 you put a keyframe for the position so here we have a keyframe and it added one right here okay and it did the same for these before uh, when we followed the same steps and then what you do is you move the playhead ahead five frames so you can either do that by dragging it to 210 or by hitting the arrow on your keyboard the right arrow five times one two three four five okay and then you bring this up you bring animation up so vertically it it's in line with create and then you see this horizontal is 769 but remember we have 800 so we want 800 so that's the same starting point as these two words 800 enter so that is done so let's take a look at this and see what it looks like when we play it put it full screen okay that's what I want it to look like so that's pretty good uh, one thing I do notice is that it appears as though six seconds is too long. So I'm going to drag the playhead back to four seconds, which you can just drag and watch the blue up here until it hits the seconds that you want to hit. There's also four seconds right here. Um, and then I'm just going to split, right click, delete. Go to the top text box split right click oops delete split right click delete there we go and then what you do is you just right click so you make sure the bottom one is highlighted right click it and then select create compound clip okay and that lets us mask so this is going to let us mask these words right here so i'll show you here so we'll go up to our right we'll go to video and then under basic actually it's not under basic beside basic there's remove bg and mask we're going to hit mask and then we're going to hit rectangle and then from rectangle, I'm actually gonna bring it over so that it has the longest word at the top. There we go, animation. So you know if it fits the longest one, it'll fit the other ones perfect. So if it fits the longest one, which is animation, the other ones will work fine. So that's done. So that's been masked. What I'll do for create is I will click on this and I'll change the color just to spice it up a bit here. I'll put green and then we'll take a look. Let's put this on full screen and let's watch. Okay, so this creates text shifting animation. All right, folks. So all you would do from here is just click export and then you would uh, choose the resolution, the frames, whatever you want to use and the file path or the file that you want to export it to. And then you would just click on export. Anyway, folks, I hope this tutorial was helpful and I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.